Uh, I've been interested in the whole area of energy fields literally for decades, but it's only in the last few years that I really boil it down to a level where, okay, I've figured out now how this can be turned into a for real science with actual numbers and, and actually get published in mainstream scientific journals. And the first paper, uh, which hopefully will be the first of a long series, uh, has been accepted uh, and has been published <clears throat> in a, one of the journals of the American Anthropological Association. It's called Anthropology of Consciousness. And it's gone through the normal peer review kind of scientific analysis process. And it's uh, presenting actual data from having the electrode just in front of my eye in the goggles that are insulated with tinfoil to keep out the background noise. And it's comparing that signal, which is you know, this far away from my eyes and it's not making physical contact with my eyelids or anything, to another electrode that's just on my forehead. So it's normal sort of brainwave, electrode, EEG type analysis. And it's showing the difference between uh, in the different frequency bands, which is starts off at a low, which is delta, and then there's theta and alpha and beta. Those are just different frequency levels. And the amplitude is how strong the signal is, how big it looks on the screen when you look at the wave. And the amplitude is different depending on whether your eyes are open or closed, both here and in the eye beam. Uh, and the differences aren't exactly the same. So the properties of the eye beam are a little different from the properties of the field coming out through your skull. And the properties here would be different from back here, so that's not unusual. And what it shows is, first of all, there is a signal. You can pick it up. You can measure it scientifically. It's hard numbers. And it's physiologically active. It's not just some sort of noise. It's actually varying with the state of your brain as the general signal coming through your skull does. And uh, so this is step number one in a, in a whole series of projects that I want to try and initiate.